What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the EU4 Super States AI only battle. There's two big wars going on at the moment. We've got Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Nevada going up against Wyoming, Oklahoma, Baja California, Sur, and Alberta. And there's also the Carolina. Carolina are somehow in some colonial wars with um, the Chimu, who just got eaten up by British Peru, who are looking pretty big now. And Carolina. Columbia is heading... Oh no, Carolina just came in and saved the day, maybe. But they are at war with France somehow. I don't know how how they manage this. And now it's not the biggest of their problems anymore. Because they're now... Where is this war? Yep, they're now at war with New York and Florida too. Florida declaring this time. Because New York picked, made most of the gains last time. I imagine we'll see Florida... Taking a big chunk of land this time, which would make sense. They're probably getting a bit scared of Texas. We haven't seen Florida. We've seen them doing a lot of helping people out. We haven't seen them actually grow themselves for a while. So this makes sense. And yet Florida trying to grab as much as they can to prevent New York getting any further. Including going for Washington, D.C. as quickly as possible. And yep, already lots of progress from Florida. I mean, it was a good time to do it. Carolina's army. I mean, there's a, there's a three stack. And there might have been another stack, but it's dead now. Um, obviously that army is sort of scattered around trying to defend Caroline and Columbia. I mean, it's only a 13 stack. It wouldn't have saved them. But, you know, may maybe they'll have to move to Columbia. Or it's not even Columbia. It's Panama instead. Just, you know, just move away. Don't come back. Wyoming. This could be a bad time for them. They, I think we all see something, don't we? Washington just got eaten up. And uh, California formed Cascadia. The Grand Republic. How the... That is big. There you go. I just noticed the colour change. I was like, what the heck happened over there? But there you go. Cascadia has formed out of California. That's a big change. They were one of the powerfulest nations in the game. That's kind of important. They're up to six. They're above New York right now in terms of being a great power. I didn't even notice that happened. Maybe they did it diplomatically. It's very unlikely. I just probably didn't notice. There was only one province. Probably very easily annexed Washington. Carolina, it's, this is sad. They were doing so well earlier, and they just got teamed up on. But yeah, probably a good move from Florida to take a lot of land, because Texas are expanding. Although they do have that alliance, you never know how long that's going to last. And Texas could at any point just, you know, backstab them. I don't know where Texas go next. They can obviously go after Oklahoma again, but they've probably got to wait a little while for that one. Uh, how long they got to wait for that? Another seven years. Missouri... I think they've got one with them, but they go after Wyoming, maybe. Um, oh, Florida. Yep, there you go. So Carolina, definitely shrinking. A lot of land going Florida's way. They're looking pretty big right now. Not enough. To, oh, and New York overtook Escalia again. I was going to say, it's not enough to put them on the Great Powers list, but it was a lot. I don't know if New York grabbed anything that time, but I don't think so. Oh, Ohio is in a war with, ah, Indiana and Wisconsin, who's still recovering from that defeat to New York last video, but they have a 29 stack, so if in doubt, they will come and save <laughs> Indiana, but I'm pretty sure they've got it covered. Wyoming, still struggling. What's the war score like here? Saskatchewan have got 32. They've just not seen a peace deal just yet, and obviously you can see that Indiana versus Ohio. They've got four war scores so far. Wisconsin will just make sure they get everything Everything right. Puerto Rico's in a war. Big war between Britain and Castile there. How did that Mex Mexican? Close enough. Oh my goodness. Okay. Kansas is back. That, that that happened. Saskatchewan took a couple of provinces up here too. But I think Manit Manitoba take this too. I don't know. No, they, they already had that. But yeah, Saskatchewan took a province. Just one. And they released Kansas. Hello, Kansas. Good to have you back again. You'll probably be eaten up by Missouri very quickly. There was a giant war over here, and Poland have some random borders. I just want to point out <laughs> the spread here around Lithuania. Crazy stuff. Crimea is gradually moving away from Crimea. That, that's, <laughs> that's interesting. Muscovy still have stuff, but it's not great. Ming is going to probably end up being huge because of this. Let's go back to what we are supposed to be focusing on over here. And I think it's a peaceful time again. 
Yeah, it is a piece. We're all at peace now. Not over here. Carolina has... Hold on. And actually, Carolina is now invading French Columbia. I don't know how this has happened. They've got five war score going in their favor. Oh, Cascadia just attacked Montana and Wyoming. And Alberta is at war with Alaska again. Okay, let's go have a look at these wars. Let's go have a look what's going on now. So, Cascadia... Plus 21. A good start for them already against Wyoming and Montana. Shouldn't be too difficult. I like the new flag. Cool. Okay, they've got 69,000 men. They should be okay. And the other war, Alberta, who is split in half, of course, is going after the final Alaskan island. And this was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Oh, no, they did make it through. Okay, they're coming now. I thought for a minute that um, they weren't even going to be able to get over here. But they are. Imagine California is the strongest, well, Cascadia is the strongest out here. Don't know though, but I imagine they've got the best boats. But yeah, we've already seen them. They're sieging out Montana, which is what this war is for. It is for Montana's capital, or only province. Um, Manitoba's just been called in, just just you know, just in case they are gonna lose. Indiana did eat up all of Ohio, so there you go. Now they are definitely gone for good. Well, not for good, they could come back. Washington, D.C. has been released. I missed that. District of Columbia. I think that's a fourth cameo for them since the start. I don't know how long that will last. Whether Carolina will be willing to attack them again. They're beating France right now. France, who are fourth on the great power list. They can feel good about themselves, Carolina. Despite what's going on at home, they are doing pretty well in French Columbia. Although, saying that, there is a 17 stack of French troops arriving. That's not going to be enough, though. So they could be safe for a little longer yet. A little longer yet. Good times. And Cascadia finished off Montana and left Wyoming alone. But there you go. They are starting to really pick up some pace up here on the west coast. And pretty much unopposed. Still, they're still yet to go to war with any other power. They've not been at war with Texas or Florida or any of those guys. They've still just stayed, done their own thing. And now they're huge. They had a bad... There was times when it didn't look good for California, but now... Now they're looking pretty strong. Obviously when Nevada took a lot of stuff from them. But now they're looking fine. They've finally cleared up this region. Which is nice. Makes the map look a bit... Oh, Quebec's going after Ontario. That's interesting. Quebec. Nunavut. That's the first war one of the Nuna nations. I'm just going to call them the Nuna nations. Because, you know, that covers all of them. Basically. And New York against Ontario and the other Nuna nation, the Nunavik. Ah, that sucks, because now I've got to... It's the orange ones against the blue ones, but not the white ones. They're, they're separate here. They're not in this war. Who are you allied to? But you are allied to the blue ones, but they're not in this... They're not going to call you in. So I expect New York should do fine. Yep, they're sieging down Toronto right now. The other Ontario province has already been sieged. The problem is the... Wait... Ontario's up here though in Quebec, but Quebec's here, so they should probably undo that. And it'll all be fine. And then the Nunavuts and the Nunaviks are fighting over there. That's just just great. Oh, and wait, how did you? You just attack them again. Cascadia just declared war on Alberta, who was still at war with Alaska, and that called in Wyoming again. <laughs> less than like, less than a month later, they're back at war again. Cascadia. They're not messing around right now. They are they are not messing around. They're, they got a six military skill leader. That might explain it. They're going in right now. Who are their allies? Manitoba and Saskatchewan. They really trust the Canadians to look after them. They've already decimated this part of Alberta. So the Albertan army is running home from Alaska, which is where they'll probably end up being banished to at the end of this video. By the end of this video. 19 war score right now for Quebec. It's good to see Quebec making a comeback. They, they 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 disappeared quite early on, so it's good to see them back. Even though they've only got three ginor oh no, four ginormous provinces, five if you include this island. But yeah, I'm sure they'll probably take this. New York, how did you Oh you haven't finished this yet. Okay, that's gonna be a lot of war score for sieging Toronto. I would imagine. I I would imagine that. You've done a very good job here. Why aren't you sieging this? I don't know. Alberta's over here just considering. Just considering attacking Cascadia. 
trying to save their stuff, and they're like, actually, you know what? No, this isn't worth it. Meanwhile, there's another... Oh, okay, now Cascadia. Oh, they have... Wow, okay, so yeah, they have 51. They have... They have, like... Wait, hang on. So if I'm 40, 51, 71, 80,000 men. Yeah, they should be fine. Why don't you just go after... Send, like, one stack this way. It'll be enough. And then just go after Wyoming with the other two. Come on, it can't be that hard. Do your jobs. Ontar Ontario is about to lose its... I, I don't know, Toronto, whether that, well, I imagine it's its capital province now, whether it was, but we're going to lose that, and that will be worth most of the war school. We'll probably see New York actually take this, and Quebec grab this, I feel. How are you guys doing against the Nunavuts? You drove them off. Good job. Uh, that was all that mattered. Oh, and there you go. Quebec did grab it, and New York grabbed Toronto. So Ontario is officially gone. I think. I can't see them anywhere. There you go. New York growing a little bit more. They're growing much. And there we go. Three states now appearing on the great powers list. Sixth is New York. Seventh, Cascadia. Florida up into eighth. Texas not on there. Not sure how long that will last. Will, ever, will we ever see Texas on there? I'm not sure. Texas definitely aren't. That slow period at the start really did hurt Texas. Wisconsin is again. I don't know if we'll see them on there now. They keep getting into wars with New York, which isn't wise. And New York now have an even bigger border with them. All of this Alberta is gone. They haven't gone after this part of Alberta just yet. But they are now start. Oh, I think they just set I think they just pieced out with Wyoming. Uh, yeah, they did. They set for peace Wyoming. Missouri is attacking Kansas, as expected. That's the only other war raging on right now. Should be pretty easy for them once they siege this province down. They'll just basically grab something for three. Lucky them. Lucky, lucky. Okay, so now they've separate piece. They can focus. Looks like they're going to focus on Alberta. Oh my goodness. Sorry for the yawn. It is late, but it's the last video, so it's good for today. Um... Okay, so these guys are going in. Yeah, okay, this is bad for Alberta. Run away. Yep, they're running. They know what's coming. Run away. Probably a smart move. Just give them everything now. They've got 92 war score. I don't really know why they're chasing after you, but... Whatever. Oh, and Quebec is going after the other Nuna people. The Nuna... Nunatsiavuts. That is just difficult to pronounce. But, yep, Quebec's here. Shouldn't be too tough for them. I mean... I wouldn't expect it to be. Uh, are you sieging it? Yep, it's going to take a while, but I'm sure sure that will be... I'm liking this. Quebec have returned. They've been reborn. I know. What are you going after here? What is your aim? You must have, like, very high war score right now. Uh, yep, 96. I mean, they probably don't want this stuff. They probably want this stuff towards Alaska. Maybe. Maybe that's why. They need to go over here. I don't know why. If not, they could have pieced out by now. But how much did it take to take everything off of Alberta? 186%. So they could probably take half of it. And then in another two videos time, they could probably take everything that remains, basically. And that would be pretty good for them. But yeah, things are getting interesting. I can't believe Cascadia just formed out of nowhere. I didn't even know that could happen. I wasn't, well, that, you know, that shows my knowledge. But I wasn't expecting it. I just looked over and everything was green. And I was so confused. But it is a nice green colour. And as they cleaned up all the other green nations first, like Montana, Washington, that's, that makes it look a bit nicer on the borders too. I'm going to be honest. Oh, you guys survived. You, you, you survived Carolina and Columbia. You've not formed a colonial nation yet, but I'll let you off because you fought France, which is pretty cool. Not many people get to say that. Um, how the heck did England get over here? Britain, British Iberia, that is gross. And also Aragon managed to take a ton of stuff back after losing most of it. How did that happen? But anyway, that is it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, it would be awesome if you could hit that like button. Be sure to leave a comment with some feedback or whatever you want to comment. Hey, look at Ethiopia, they're doing pretty well still. That's cool. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. And also be sure to turn on that notification button so you don't miss anything. 
Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure, I've already said this, but be sure to subscribe. It would be really cool. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.